Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q2 of the Weekly Contest 224, tuple with the same product. So, so for this problem, uh, you should hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on this one. Let me, let me know what you think about this problem. So this is actually a little bit on the harder side, to be honest. Um, but And also a lot of it is just mathematical. Um, but in a way, it is also brute force, kind of. Um, you may, you know, think about two sums and two uh, uh, or other problems that are similar. Um, but first thing to notice is that for me, n is equals to a thousand. That means that an n squared algorithm would be good enough. Um, so then... For me, instead of looking for four tuples, I just um, uh, and oh yeah, and the, and the key thing to the other key thing to note is that every number is distinct. So th therefore, um, because every number is distinct, you don't have any funky numbers. You know, like you don't have to count the makeup because the the numbers you know that each pair there's only one unique way to um, you know, like if if two times five is you know. Is equal to ten. There's no one. There's no another two to equals to ten or something like that, right? Um, so that's the way that we think about it. That's the distinct. So that that's actually a key observation. And once you do that, instead of figuring out, you know, the naive algorithm maybe n to the fourth, where you have, you know, a b c d, and then you iterate for it. But instead, we're just going to get one side, which is the product, and then we'll match it to the other side later, which is what we do. So here we have a, a dictionary that keeps track of counts and then we just go through for every two pairs and be, and we you know again this is based on the fact that it's distinct we just count the number of ways to get to this product uh another thing i looked at was that uh each number is up to 10 to the fourth so we don't have to worry about overflows though i mean i, I know that i'm in python so i don't have to worry about it anyway but it's something that i just was double checking because um you know it, it it raises some issues otherwise and then after that uh, I just look at for each value. That means that for each product inside this count, I I for each total, I look at you know this is why choose two, meaning that if there are four pairs of numbers that you know for you know for example, uh, one times ten is ten, right? And how many pairs summed up to ten, uh, multiplied by ten, right? Well, in this case, there's actually only two pairs, so one and ten and two and five. So then now it becomes a uh, Yeezy-ish combinatorics problem where, okay, on the left side, you have uh, you have to choose Y of them, and on the right side, you choose Y minus one of them. Um, I actually kind of messed up here, so I fudged it a little bit on my, my formula during the contest, but it should be just Y times Y minus one uh, to choose what's on the left and what's on the right, and then times it by four because uh, on the left side, you could, you could choose... Um, the left and the right, um, you know, you could permutate them left and right. And also on the right side, there's two ways to choose them. So in total, there are four ways to kind of mix them up. Um, so that's basically how I got this formula. And um, and yeah, and that's pretty much it. Um, and if you do have some confusion about this, uh, I do recommend uh, going over combinatorics and just going over basic problems. But the idea is that, um, you know, given Y pairs of numbers that's, uh, multiplies to a certain product, um, you know, on the left side, you could choose Y of them, and on the right side, you could choose Y minus one, and then the frippy thingies. So that's the way that I would do it. What's the complexity? Well, it's going to be N squared uh, because of these two for loops. And, oh yeah, let me make the thingy bigger a little bit. And and all of N space for the uh, hash table. Um, and then just going through the hash table. Uh, so, Actually, sorry about that. Uh, I think this is actually n square because um, there could be at most n square products. Sorry. So n square um, space and n square time. And yeah, and this is also n square because this can possibly have n square values. So yeah, so n square time, n square space. And that's pretty much all I have. Uh, let me know what you think. And you can watch me solve it live during the contest as I solve them next. Ten to the f ten to the eight. Just ten.
minus two. Uh, thanks for watching everybody. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord and ask me questions about this poem or other poems. Uh, have a good year and all that stuff and I will see you next problem. Bye bye.